Hi. Hello, hello. How was your week? Papa Nye, Don C of Life, <laughs> the publisher of Ninja, U, Ninja Times USA. Thank you for joining, bro. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, we have Mom Clinic. Okay. Hi sis, I just invited you to join the live session. Waiting for you to accept. <laughs> what is showing here? I don't know. Okay, how do I go about this one? Okay. Um I think you need to change your camera. <laughs> yes, so bro, you don't show. Don't see Baba. That's my mom. Publisher of Ninja Times USA, where I am also a contributor, all the way from the US. Thank you for joining, Ebo. <laughs> evening, or don't cool. Evening, do it, dearie. Evening, everyone. Thank you, thank you for joining. We've been back at you. How was your week? I want to hear from you guys. How was the week? How was the week? The week treat you right? Um, what were the highlights of your week? Waiting for... Okay. Here we go. Oh, thank you for letting me know, Wendy. Oh, Ojoku. Oh, here we go. Wisdom. <laughs> thank you for joining, Wisdom. Great evening. Yes. I think we can have our session tomorrow on Twitter. A chat about Fat Slim. Okay. Trying to connect with. Our guest for today, Mommy Clinic, Temi Olaji Day, is our guest for today. Oh, February. Um, sis, let me invite you to join and then we can, you know, sort it out. So I've just invited you again. Maybe you need to change, you know, you need to switch your camera. I don't know. Hey, God, no. go. Look God, at this. Oh, no. have mercy. <laughs> eh, oh, I'm to dead. Dead. That, eh? You know, I've not, I've not gone live for a while. So, like, I, uh, so many things have changed. <laughs> I know, I know. I was just because, say, what am I seeing? I'm seeing the other side of my camera. And I'm trying to think, okay, how do I turn this thing back now? Anyway, we are finally here. Thank you so much, sis. So, Thank so, so you. happy to, hear, to be here and to obviously Thank see you. you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, same here. By the way, beautiful background, I must say. Um, we are trying. Beautiful. <laughs> That's a lot of good vibes going on on your wall. Exactly. Uh, we need and this. Then... You know, this is my workspace. So I just need to, to see that every day, to be honest. It's just being intentional. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, we need with the work to you remind do. ourselves. Thank you so much. I agree with you. And how is the family? Fine, thank you. Fine, we're fine. And and you? Oh, great, we are trying. And my friends, yeah, hope they're fine they are as still. well. They are doing their own. I Go know. I know. In your, in your voice, may we continue raising well-rounded kids. I got that word from Amen. you. <laughs> Like Amen. it's a prayer point for me every day. Like God, exactly. I want to raise well. It's a whole lot of work, work, but we keep our seats. To be honest, <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. And you know, how is work? How is life generally? You know, just before we get into the session. 
I would say good. <laughs> I would say good. Obviously, we know life comes with its challenges. And okay. like I always tell my mommies, this is the life we've chosen. So we just yeah. have to find ways to enjoy it because the what they say, the the something will not stop. There's one mm -hmm. slang. I, I'm not. I'm not a slang person. Like the whatever <laughs> doesn't stop. Like we oh, okay. to do it. So so far okay. so far we understand that. Then we mm -hmm. just have to find a way to enjoy it. To be honest, today I've been really tired. Ah, I can imagine. It's not easy, but you know, I just I will just usually put on music when I'm really tired. Mm -hmm. I just say okay. So and I now start to dance with my children. That's what I do. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. <laughs> so, you're there, those so your, but, those but dance it's videos there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you, you really entertained us during the pandemic. You, <laughs> you made it fun because, you know, uh, we just had to know that life still continues. Exactly. Regardless of what we're dealing with. And we just exactly. have to do it intentionally. Exactly. And the exactly. world done, you know, with everything you do for mothers, you mm. know, we appreciate you. you you're doing Thank so much. You. You're helping people build their homes. Mm -hmm. and raise their kids without stress. Because one thing people don't see on social media is the work that goes into parenting. People don't exactly. see that. The real work <laughs> that, that, that goes into parenting, oh, you, like the pictures, you comment. Exactly. But the real work that we all do behind closed doors, I it's tell people easy. nobody can pay mothers. Exactly. You know, for it's crazy. And even fathers, because we have to acknowledge, you know, the responsible fathers. Yeah. Dads who are intentional. So for exactly. the dads who have joined us today, I want to, you know, say mm -hmm. special shout out to you all. Mm -hmm. And we we'll let you know that we appreciate you all, you know, fathers, you know, who have joined today. Though, you mm -hmm. know, the special might sound like, oh, it's for mommies. No, you know, <laughs> it's, it's for you to know that, uh, you are important. <laughs> You know, yeah, parenting is a balance, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you have, you have to create that balance between both parents. And so thank you, sis. Thank right. You. I was hoping we'd have more people, but I think we can start because I know it's Friday. Let's start. Oh. You know, let's and start. Don't worry. <laughs> and Everybody so will catch up. Traffic. <laughs> All right. So before we before we go on, let me just briefly read um Sister Miola Jide's profile. Listen, she has an amazing profile. So I had to just brief. If you Google her name, she's wait, 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 this woman, eh? Okay. All right. She is the first Nigerian child sleep and potty training consultant. She is the founder of Mom Clinic Global Services, an organization that provides strategies and practicable solutions to the challenges of parents in raising children in the digital age through online platform. Listen, I've got two questions from your profile. One, and I think I've asked you before, you know, a few years ago, I said, why did you have double C to mommy clinic? Because you know, it's easy for people to search for mommy clinic and just a clinic. So what's the double, you know, the, the C, the extra C? In fact, I, I'm going to tell you that, you know, if it's just very simple. If I put one C, then mm -hmm. it's like a hospital, right? Mm -hmm. It's now more, but we are not the hospital <laughs> and even when you would see also with our registration mm -hmm. we could not register even with mommy clinic as well we had to put the k because mm -hmm. we cannot use clinic because we are not hospital but mm -hmm. obviously mommy clinic is just saying that you know where you get all your mommy headaches all those mommy <laughs> pains or parenting headaches and pains sorted so that mm. is why, why why we have mommy clinic and obviously mommy in the sense that we know yes parenting is both ways right but the struggles of moms having to mm -hmm. want to balance everything is more than the father so we should be realistic <laughs> so mm -hmm. how do we support moms to be mm -hmm. on top of their own game right mm -hmm. so that it's not only the fathers that are achieving their dreams we moms too we can achieve our dreams and we're not saying we're giving up because of having some children like why seriously no so that was that that's the inspiration behind mommy clinic and with the double c because we are not a clinic so the c is just to break 
that thing there. <laughs> mm, that's that's very smart because to yeah. be honest, you know, you for me, if I if I didn't know you and I come across your profile, I'll say, oh please, where's your clinic card? Perhaps exactly. the, the first question, please send me the location and address. And so, I mean, before we, what inspired you to start Mommy Clinic? What's the okay, let me, let me even quickly gist you. You know, <laughs> at times, people will call, will call our line and they'll be complaining. Ah, my child does not eat see. My child is having a day. I say, go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. We are not, we are not hospital, no. We are not hospital. We will guide you. We'll tell, but it's not clinic like that. Go to the hospital. So I was just saying, let me just make, you know, a joke out of that. So what actually, you know, inspired Mommy Clinic was, um, I've always been very, obviously intentional with okay. my children right from when they were babies and okay. what inspired that was that you know they made us believe a story that you can't have your career or your business or you know fulfill your dreams as a mom and still raise phenomenal children they always okay. want us to pick one so I went into that like, no, this is not going to be my story. I'm going to achieve my dreams, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to raise phenomenal children. So mm -hmm. I started that, you know, I started to raise my children very deliberate. When I was reading this, taking courses and all that. So until I now came, you know, I, I joined Instagram, um, was it like five or six years, 2016. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to see, you know, a number of moms struggling. They will be posting their children. They are not sleeping. And obviously, um, I, had, I have so much passion when it comes to sleep. Like, no. Because I know the benefits of, you know, having to sleep train my children, how it's mm -hmm. impacted my life even up till now. Like, mm -hmm. you know, when people see teenagers, you know, they say, oh, teenagers, they don't sleep. They're always on their phones at night. They, my children are not like that because it's something, you know, it's a routine that they've had since when they were babies, right? So it's something I'm actually really passionate about. So when I see all these mommies saying, oh my God, see, my child is not sleeping. I said, I have solution to this problem. You should not be facing this problem, you know? Then another one, you see parents, you know, mommies complaining their children are not listening or, you know, you see them saying, oh, they are, you know, facing potty training challenges. So I just said, you know, I think... Um, these moms, they need my help because mm -hmm. I have the solution. You can okay. enjoy your mommy life. We know, we know parenting is tasking. We know, mm -hmm. and it comes with the territory, right? But we can enjoy it. And I said, then I'm sent to some people. And that was how I started that. No, every mom cannot be suffering. I know when I see moms, you know, struggling in pain, it's like I'm the one in pain. I'll be, sometimes I'll be crying. I will not sleep. Like, this mom can do, you can achieve your dreams. These children cannot be stressing your life. And that was why I said, okay, it's time for me to help these moms. And obviously, I registered for a couple of, you know, online class courses or something. Or now you can actually get started on Instagram because I, I knew nothing on Instagram because I think I was, my followers were, were like 200 or something, to be honest, when we started Bobby Clinic, I knew nobody. So, and that was how we, you know, we started Bobby Clinic. And we started with our sleep, um, our sleep school. And from there, we graduated to so many things. And I got my certification, you know, as a proper sleep trainer, <laughs> certified sleep trainer, and, um, you know, potty training consultant, child, child psychology. You know, when people see me now, many people think that this is my full-time job. I know. I have a nine-to-five. <laughs> I they have a career. Up. They don't know what's up on that end. <laughs> so, but I'm so involved with the parents I work with mm -hmm. that you would not know that I have another side of me because... I can so I can be with on parenting issues midnight. My mom is they call me. I say call me. So far you they paid me. You can call me. <laughs> you can call me anytime. Do you get? But I'm so involved because I actually believe that you can achieve your dreams. Because if you are if you do not achieve your dreams, mm -hmm. you would not be happy. And mm. it's going to you know it's going to affect your children as well. Because mm -hmm. when the mommy is not happy, daddy is not happy. Mm -hmm. Children are not happy. Everybody's just doing their own thing. So I genuinely know that we can mm -hmm. have both lives, enjoy, uh, achieve our dreams, and also raise phenomenal children without anything suffering or you know having issues here and there. Yes, it's not easy, but it's doable. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much for, for sharing. 
And speaking of, you know, other things people don't know about you, it's the fact that you, you are Nigeria's um, first satisfied child sleep child. consultant. Exactly. How did you achieve that? Hmm. So, uh, <laughs> obviously, I've known everything about sleep training prior to joining Instagram. Mm -hmm. But you know, at times when you would want to impact some some knowledge, I know I, I researched everything. I looked for sleep trainers in Nigeria, mm -hmm. Africa, everything I did mm -hmm. not find, right? Mm -hmm. So not because I needed one, but I just wanted to understand why people were not aware of it. Even when you, you say sleep trainer, sleep training in Nigeria, even like five, six years ago, nobody understood that. So we needed to start from educating people why their children need sleep first mm. even before we say oh we want to sleep train so what i needed to do was i needed to back up you know that authority and say it's not because i've sleep trained my children or i've helped mm -hmm. my cousins my friends sleep train their children mm -hmm. i need some authority as well so i registered with an american institute mm -hmm. that you know i wanted to be you know the nigerian end of it i know maybe there, there are nigerians abroad though i don't know but this nigeria word i'm the first i'm still there i'm still holding up to it i'm still yeah. wearing my crown and i am good at what i, I do i've yeah. supported over five thousand children it's not bees right so i own it and yes and that that that, that was how i i got that my crown Mm -hmm. And if anybody started um, 2015, no, in Nigeria, maybe you come and tell me. <laughs> but anyhow, yeah. um, I and, and I, you know, I also belong to, you know, the uh, we have a society of child sleep training consultants in the world as well. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one in Nigeria, even West Africa. I'm the only one representing us there, right? So I think yes. So that that's that's how I got my crown. <laughs> I, I saw that. I mean, it's easy for every, everyone to see if you they Google your name. Um, you know what you just said now is on their website. So picture is there as well. Yes. So, so it's not. Um, she's and not thank you for your support as well. Thank you, yeah. sis, for your support. Thank you no so problem. much. We do appreciate you. Thank no you for being problem. part of our story, our no growth, problem. our journey <laughs> as well. <laughs> no problem. Listen, if there's anyone that does not joke, I, I need to tell you for young people who are on this session right now, you know, let me digress a little bit. Do not joke with your visibility. When she started out, she didn't tell you the story. This is a woman we invested a lot in her visibility. <laughs> There are people who joke with that. You cannot underplay your visibility exactly. when you're doing the brand. If exactly. people don't know you, you can't complain they are not supporting you. That's what I tell people. I want that. They, are not, they are not supporting <laughs> me. When are you popular? <laughs> when do they know you? Who are you talking to about your work? Anyway, exactly. let me just move on. To the main question, how do we handle yeah. mom guilt as working parents? Hmm. You know, many times, maybe the way I would respond to this question, because I do get this question many times. So it's something, you know, it might not be what people would want to hear, right? <laughs> but I would say it. You know, what I say is that why do we we have to work, right? Or you, you, are, you choose to work. You chose to do this work. And mm -hmm. you have your reason for doing it. Mm -hmm. If... If you do not have to work, since people will, will be lying down and sleeping now. Yeah. So many times, the first point, I would obviously share some, some things that one can do. Mm -hmm. But when you acknowledge, especially mm -hmm. we mothers, mm -hmm. when you acknowledge that I have chosen to work mm -hmm. because of this, mm -hmm. right? So every other thing that comes after that, then you have to now say, this is why I've chosen to work. What do I now need to do? Because if you are saying, oh, you know, you see the mommy, I'm, uh, let me give an example. There was a particular uh, mom, you know, that reached out to me at some point that, you know, she's so sad uh, because uh, a child is now gravitating, you know, more to the nanny. And she's like, you know, at times she would want to carry the child. The child would say, mommy, do not carry me, right? So I said, it's understandable because that's what the child is seeing. So the question is, how do I become more visible to my daughter? But many times, we also do not want to make some sacrifice. 
but you have to make some. So I said, have you ever tried that? Okay, maybe weekends, right? <laughs> Let the nanny go. You stay at home. At least, do, do you go to work on, on Saturday and Sunday? She said, no. So I said, so if you do not go to work, if you're going to work Saturday, Sunday, so that means you work Monday to Sunday is another thing, which is an exception. But if you have your Saturday and Sunday, why don't you just give that maybe nanny, maybe one day off and spend the whole day? At least your daughter will not run out of the house and say, I want to yeah. meet nanny. Absolutely. But she might not want to do that because she still wants someone to also take care of her. We can maybe have somebody that she would be saying, have you cooked this? Have you cooked that? So I said, it's give and take. So if you really want your daughter's attention, then you have to sacrifice that and say, this one day is for my daughter, yeah. right? So when it comes to dealing, you know, with guilt, I tell people, I'm not a guilty mother. I've never been guilty. Even when I have, when my kids were very young, because I tell mommies, what you want to do or parents, though I don't think daddies feel guilty. I've never heard of that before. So I will, I will just focus on mommy guilt because I've not seen that daddy guilt, so to say. So, but mommy guilt is that when you've acknowledged why you're working, mm -hmm. at every point, evaluate and give your best. Mm -hmm. Whatever is your best, you know, I take it. Why am I not guilty? I've given my best to my children. I'm giving my best to my work. So even my employer cannot say I'm not doing well. But are we ready to give our best at every time to each person? Mm -hmm. So if you can give your best and you know it's your best, if you know it's mm -hmm. not your best, then do something about it because mm -hmm. we can give our best. And giving you your best doesn't mean that you will be all over the place. You'll be with your child 24-7. Your children, let me even tell you, your children, they don't even want you around them 24-7. Absolutely. But they want, like, if this is our time, this is mommy and me time. Mm -hmm. Even if it's 15 minutes a day, devote it, you know, to your child. It might be their bedtime if you've gone out all day or whatever it is. And some of us are even working from home as well. So if it's working, you work, you work from home, you know, <laughs> prepare them, let them know that, you know, children are marvelous beings. When you prepare children and say, oh, you know what, mommy's working now. After work, we're going to have 15 minutes, even if it's 10 minutes, because it is, it's, not, it's not too much. We're going to have 10 minutes together. They will wait and they will be excited. They will be waiting for you. Where you would now uh, do wrong is now not doing it when you have promised it. Mm. So prepare your children and say, oh, this time, if it is once a week you have time, mm -hmm, prepare them, let them know that, you know. On Saturday, we would always have mommy and me time, mommy and us time, whatever it is. Spend time with them. If it's 30 minutes you have time for, do it. With that, your children are fine. The yes. other guilt is now yours. But ensure that you are doing your best at every time. And that's okay. what has worked for me. I tell my children, if you want to do anything you want to do, D, I'm trying my best, right? I've given you my best, and that's it. Even yes. when I'm eating, I don't hide to eat. I will eat it with my full chest. They'll be looking at me, and I will not share, because I've given you your own. <laughs> so if I've not given you your own now, you can, I can be feeling guilty that, ah, and I'm eating only this shawarma. I did not buy something for these children. Or I didn't give them. So let them eat their own. And you eat your own. And you own it with your food. Change. Be, mommy, mommy has given you yours. Let me too. Let me eat and enjoy myself. Rather than hiding. You'll be hiding. <laughs> and you will not enjoy the food at the end of the day. So first acknowledge that this is what I have to do. I do not have an alternative. I need to do this work. Right? Mm -hmm. And I'm doing this work also because of these children. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm not doing the work for myself alone to mm -hmm. to look beautiful now. <laughs> I'm making, I'm doing it to take care of my children. Right, so I'm doing it for them, mm -hmm. and I tell myself I acknowledge that, and I give my best at every time to my children. Yes, there's some moments, you know, that you might be missing. Some people will say, "Oh, they miss when they started to work, when they removed their seat." <laughs> I think I was there when my child worked. I cannot remember because at the end of the day, you know, we, I think this life, we always just want to rely on what other people are saying, what the media is trying to sell to you. Like, who cares? 
this the child the, the time your let, let's say let's say when your daughter had the first one what has it done to you that you experience let's even say you experienced it what did it do to you i know right you know we just worry for worrying sake you are oh. saying oh ah i'm so sad i'm missing milestones what as milestone what will it do to you in the long run because oh. i'm more like i tell parents focus on the future so mm -hmm. what do you need to do for your child mm -hmm. that is going to take them you know l long way but mm -hmm. that's not what we're focusing on we're focusing on the wrong things the sustainable things what would impact your children the bonding the and the bonding is you know is 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 uh is relative 10 minutes for me maybe 20 minutes for anything that is realistic for your family, but, but just ensure that you're consistent, you know, with it. And another way of dealing with it is that, you know, at times we get so tired because you've gone out, you're so tired and you're now, you know, you come back home, your child, maybe even two years or one year did something or, and you start to shout at the child. At the end of the day, you now start to feel guilty. Ah, Ah, and it's not this child's fault too. Why did I shout? And you now start to feel bad. I'm a bad mom. Because you're taking your frustration on your child. Mm. So what you just want to do is, you know, just be a patient mom. Rather mm. than take things out on your children. They did not send you to do the work home. Like, <laughs> they did not send you. <laughs> so you sent yourself because you have to do it. So don't take it out on them. Don't say, oh, I've been out all day. They don't care. Because they did not tell you to go to, to work. So just, you know, breathe in from time to time. Reassure yourself, right? Yes, life is full of challenges. I will oh. This um, Instagram is, honestly, what do we want to... I, it, it, it's even starting from the, the filter we use. You know, I was testing filter. Let me just... Debate. I was testing a filter one day. I did not use filter. Maybe was it two weeks. I, I just put filter. My face slim ha i said this is this is a lie my daughter had to say so my daughter told my my son hey you have to be careful oh hey if girls are using filter like this you will not know the, the the correct person and if you see my real face i have to post both on instagram like moms get this thing on instagram we're putting out what we want you to see or the finished product we've Ooh. gone through a lot behind the scenes right mm -hmm. so you take it Life is that, and it will never finish. So don't Ooh. take it that. Rather, don't take anything against your children. Be a patient mom to, you know, be that patient mom to them. Listen mm -hmm. to them, right? Mm -hmm. If you are busy, if you are tired, let your child know, I'm tired. Can you give me some time? Because where the guilt comes from is when you are now taking, if you, you are saying, oh, I'm tired, even if your child will give you a massage. Because I remembered when my kids were very young. Now they are doing shakara for me. <laughs> When they were very young, they would come and be massaging me and say, ah, I'm tired. Today has been really... They say, let us massage. Out. They will massage my feet. I will sleep. We are team members, right? So, yeah. will I not feel guilty? I cannot feel guilty. All of us are in this together. Do you get it? Yeah. So, I think another thing that moms can also maybe do to handle um, guilt as well is prepare your children even yeah. when you're traveling even when you're going to work even if you're not going to see them in the morning maybe you need to step out on time prepare them from the night before you know mommy is leaving home on you know tomorrow i'm going to leave home or are you you don't or it's something they get used to i know that this is mommy's routine i'll see you you know later in the evening that way you see that you're involving them so mm -hmm. let's involve our children mm -hmm. when they're involved then you feel so you know um, happy with yourself, you feel so fulfilled with yourself that you know they they are they are in the know as well. But many times, you know, out of they are just children. Trust me, they're not just children. They understand, and when you carry them along, then it's um the weight is less um heavier. To be honest, the guilt starts to fade away. But most yeah. importantly, just embrace it. Give it your best. When you give it, need your best. You know you've given it your best and mm -hmm. the guilt will be you know really out of the window at the end of the day thank you that's amazing and mm. i think one of the one thing that stood out a lot of people commented as well is the food parts <laughs> <laughs> you know that i was so surprised that mom, moms i'd i'd to eat and 
a lot you know we posted it maybe like three years ago and the way people commented i had to create a course that how to eat um without it was one funny title how to eat your food in peace as a mom i had to create that course because i thought ah, in this small life how would we not be eating and enjoying ourselves this i know after all the stress and wahala i wonder <laughs> now be hiding inside some people say they're hiding inside toilets to eat i know i've heard that too before ah, i mean it's, it's terrible it's terrible <laughs> So let me move on to the next question, which is how you, I mean, you've spoken so much about the core of parenting and how we shouldn't feel guilty. Now, how do we use, how can we, how can tech be used in modern parenting? Because this parenting that we are right now <laughs> is the modern of the modern. How <laughs> can tech be used in modern parenting? These mm. children know more than us. They know more they than know. Us when it comes to this phone thing. When my daughter they grabs know. my phone and says, they were born like, into it, so I know. Be... <laughs> and I know. Uh, some parents will be telling you that they cannot come and learn. Hmm. Mm. Mm. You know, the way I, the way I usually, what I usually tell my parents, mm -hmm. um, our our parents is mm -hmm. the parents we we work with on on my platform mm -hmm. is that you know tech. We cannot, you know, before COVID, mm -hmm. we're still, still doing some things and say, oh, and don't give them this, don't give them that. When COVID came like this, hey, mm -hmm. and you know that when I wrote my book, remember, sis, it was before COVID. Yes. The Wi Fi Kids and Analog, analog Parents. It was just mm -hmm. like, you know, it was like, I should write that book, I should write that book. And, you know, that times my DMs were always full regarding you know how do they manage tech phones gadgets you know for the children i just said rather than answering everybody saying book session book session i just said let me write a book when covid hit i was like god this is the this is the book for the season right oh. but you know it's this is the reality now so even if you were thinking that you would not give anybody any gadgets before now even the school they now even came online Will you now say your child should not go to school? <laughs> and that's, that's the life we, we, we're embracing, really. And when we acknowledge that tech is the present and is the future, mm -hmm. so is what, what can we start to put in place? Because to be honest, the diseases that we'll be having in the next like five, 10 years to come, they are not normal diseases. Though. They are diseases with like eye, neck, mm -hmm back you know all these things and it's affecting children because when i because i got i i completed my master's in january and i did something you know my thesis was something on on screen and the, it is there so yes we know that it has negative you know effects on children but the thing is that it's there it's still their world so but how can we what is our role as a you know as parents to ensure that their future is not jeopardized because of tech i tell people that the successful people in the next few years are not necessarily the very maybe great or intelligent people is those that can manage their time effectively Mm -hmm. And that is the issue now with technology, with the children, even with us parents. You're on your phones all mm -hmm. day. And the, the, the psychology behind it is that, you know, what I tell parents is that, look at it. You, that you have work to do. Mm. You're on your phone all the time. Mm. So a child that is jobless, mm. you now give the child a phone. So, and, and you're not saying, oh, they are feeding them, you know, pornography, on sexual content, on explicit, on the wrong stuff. Why would they not? Do they have a job? <laughs> They're jobless. So the thing is, so how can I, as a parent, use technology to the advantage of my children? Mm -hmm. Or how can my children use technology to their advantage? And that is where we come in as a parent. Okay, because... By, your, by the time your children get to, let's say, by age 11, mm. they, might need a, they might need a phone. And it depends on the country you are in. Maybe in Nigeria, it, it's not compulsory. Like mm -hmm. when we're still back in Nigeria, for example, my children did not need phone because mm -hmm. I would go and pick them in school. We come mm -hmm. back home. But mm -hmm. here now, 
mm-hmm. in the UK, they go to school themselves. Mm-hmm. Even if you say you will take them to school, the children will tell you that no, because it is not normal. Mm-hmm. Majority of parents would, you know, allow the children to go to school on their own. So for for safety, you need to give them a phone. Mm-hmm. So the the measures you will put in place all this like long story but what okay. i'm just saying is that so when you are even saying okay i want to give my child phones or gadgets for example oh. ask yourself why so whatever reason it is for for let's say if it's for safety if it's for homework if, if okay. it's for that but i usually advise that if it's for let's say school work homework whatever it is have a laptop or a desktop mm. But it's something that we psychologists are, have looked into. Because when they, they have that phone, you can hardly monitor, even if you put all this, whatever you put on it, or if you are, unless it's all this, maybe you've blocked here and there, then maybe you can go to sleep, right? But the most important thing is that acknowledge it and ask yourself why they have those things. When you have responded to that why, and maybe you are now, okay, they need this, then you start from the educational part. You need to educate your children, you know, the downside, the good side, what they should, they can, what's the, the red flags. Even for the younger children, if you see this, don't press it. If you do this, don't do that, you know, proper education. And why do we need to educate? Your children are going to grow older, whether you've put, clamped this down and blocked the site, they will go to school. Their friends that they didn't block anything because it's not all of us that are intentional parents. Mm. So always have that in mind that even if you are an intentional parent, it's not mm. everybody that is like that. Some people do not care mm. about their children. They are like me. Who cared about me? I'm okay. In their words, you too, you will be okay mm. <laughs> at the end of the day. So understand that they're going to go to school their friends too will be looking at all sorts mm-hmm. saying all sorts that's where proper education comes in so mm-hmm. as as parents in the digital age you know we take education is key so mm-hmm. that your children are aware they know when to come to you mm-hmm. they know when to ask you questions even if they're going to let's say or oh, go on social media mm-hmm. you know they know the right things to do and they see, okay, if there's anything that we need to watch out for, they know. But if you do not do that education, that's why plenty children are falling into all these things. Because the children, the parents are not doing what they're they meant to do. You just think, oh, my children, they want, they should have phone. You give them phone. And when you give phone, I tell more parents, you give, when you give phone, smartphone, you, are, you just said, my child, I release you into the world. The Lord is with you. <laughs> And it's crazy. It is crazy. Parents, if, if you do not know this, the world out there is crazy. What is on social media is crazy. Even some parents would not even search, you know, what is the age, appropriate age for this thing. And these platforms have put age, oh, that's why that the age self is not really acceptable, but they've put it there. But you now see parents, 13 year olds, at least Snapchat is 13. And these children, these teenagers, for even teen- with teenagers from like eight, Snapchat is their life. Mm-hmm. With all the filter, doing like this, doing that. and all sorts, they show their, you know, their private, you know, anything, their bodies, because they believe it's going to disappear, you know. And you, your parents, you now gave your child the phone. Some parents don't even know the social media that their children belong to, right? Okay. So, as the parents first, in this tech age, you need first to educate yourself. Mm-hmm. Then you now start to educate. And there is open conversations. Please, this world that we're in now, there's nothing like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm embarrassed or something. Oh, is my child too young to know this? There's no young child again. No? Even the two-year-olds, you will see them. They know, <laughs> they know how to kiss. They know how to hold body. <laughs> they, you know? So... <laughs> <laughs> so you educate your child and obviously put measures in place all mm-hmm. those measures are there the the, the oh. but do you know that the people creating this thing they are aware and they are putting measures in place we are the we, we parents are not the we are the ones that are not 
aware. Right. Even if you even want to give your child, let's say, oh, you want to give the big parent and give the most amazing phones. Mm. There's Google Link. Google Link is even free. And there's so many things you can do with Google Link. Oh. Mm. Parents will not do that. Mm. They will just give the child the phone, right? Mm. And another thing you want to do is ensure that there are boundaries. Mm -hmm. If you want to give your children phones, gadgets, technology, whatever it is, set boundaries. Oh, in your bedroom, you cannot use a phone. You mm -hmm. cannot use laptop. Mm -hmm. Let it be in the open place. Have a place that, you, you know, people, you can go to do their, you know, just, mm -hmm. we need accountability. You need yeah. to be at your children's accountability. Because I remember having a conversation with my son a while, you know, a while ago. He says that you keep him accountable. He has put this, put this, because when they get out there, they'll be telling them, oh, let's do this, let's do this. So if somebody is there, but it's not all children that would be able to, you know, speak to you because you don't, mm -hmm. you're not having that open conversations with them. So keep them accountable, put whatever you want to put in place and say, oh, I've put family and let them know that you've put it. So it's not like you are hiding anything. Mm -hmm. I've put this to keep you accountable. This is your screen time, you know, let them have, or if it is four hours, let them know. Not that is when the child is now staying, you know, on the phone for a long time. You know, mm -hmm. say, give me that phone. You've just been on the phone all day. See, or your younger children, you you like playing, watching YouTube, YouTube all the time. Let them know that you know this is the time for screen time. This is time for phone. These are the areas maybe on dining table we can't have our phones there. What you just want to do is reduce the number of hours that the children are glued to the screens and introduced, you know, fun activities around those times. Because if you say, oh, you cannot be on your phone, what will they do? So, because some some parents, some children will come and meet you, mommy, I don't know what to do. And you two, you say, okay, because you two, you are tired. You say, okay, go on your phone, play all day, <laughs> because you do not know. And, you know, um, with, my, with my project, I created an app as well. Mm -hmm. So the app is to provide alternatives to screen time. Mm -hmm. So what it just does is, you know, it alerts you that, oh, your child needs to stop playing on the screen now. And this is the, you know, fun activity mm -hmm. outside screen that your child can do. You can create that for yourself and say, okay, just do timetable. Screen time this, play time this, interaction. Now, people don't even want to interact with anybody. And that's why you see people are depressed, the, mm. you know, suicide rates going higher because we're all losing touch with each other. Mm. And let's even assume everybody is losing touch. Look at the future of families. Mm. Would you not, your children would rather not see you and be calling you or ping, chatting or, or WhatsApping. You see in a family, they'll be WhatsApping themselves. Somebody is in another room. Like, which family is that one? And they think it's, it's normal. It's not. And when the children are out of the house now, you'll not be complaining. You're not coming to see us. Moms, anything you're doing now, what I always do is in the next five years, in the next 10 years, is what I'm doing uh, relevant. Mm. When If it's not relevant, like if, um, let's say, my children, let's say they put stuff around the house now and I'm taking it shouting. I'm like, who does not put stuff around the house. Last, last, call the child to take it away. Then you shouting your, like, what has that got to do with your future? Mm. <laughs> so ask yourself, what is relevant? What is important to you as a person? Like mm. if you're a parent and you know that, you know, you want your children to be the type of children that would ask after you, come mm -hmm. look for you. You mm -hmm. want that bond, you know, mm -hmm. bond with your own grandchildren. Then you know that you're going to do things differently now. So if you are that type of parent and you are all on your phone, or the, the, trust me, it's going to get worse. That's tech. That's what they want us to do. They want us to be glued to this phone and not have any other life. Sadly. So just take it. Ask yourself all the time, where do I see my children, my life, and everything in the next five years? And I think that would hold us accountable to okay. how we handle issues there's so many things we complain about that's mm. not important mm. 
Mm. Ask yourself what is really important. So that's mm. about, you know, how to manage tech, you know, put um, boundaries. That boundaries is even key. Before you give that child a phone or gadget or whatever it is, or maybe TV, whatever it is, let mm. there be time, you know, for that. Oh, this is the time you're going to have to use your phone or maybe when you're back from school, let them know, prepare them and they cooperate. Even if they go, you know, out of line, they would apologize and say, oh, mom, please, sorry, sorry, sorry. But not that they'll be thinking you are so mean. Mm. Like you gave me a phone and you're collecting it. Mm. If I'm on this, you know. So that's, that's basically, and be a role model. Anyway, that's the most important thing. So, yeah. and do tech well, you know, mm -hmm. then they would learn from you as well. Mm. In fact, what you just done now is a soft master class. <laughs> you know and i've got to tell you something these children they know so much it's amazing <laughs> how they can navigate phones right exactly. one thing that i have done you know and i pray that i continue to do mm. is that I make sure that my children Google educative stuff. So when mm -hmm. you come to me and say, mommy, what do we do now? Hey, I'm going to come. <laughs> Why don't we start uh, this one? Come back to That'll me and give me the answer. Exactly. Give you know? them a topic. Give oh. them something. Uh, yeah, so the other time, I, I told them to, to Google um, Adiola Olubamiji, mm -hmm. my friend. So I told my daughter, I said, we're going to have a tech talk on Sunday. Read exactly. about that. In your journal, and that's, an, that's one thing I, I also did. You know, I don't know what story I read online. Mm. about. I think it was a Chris Land. I don't know one of those stories that happened. Mm -hmm. And I was hit really bad. I said, what? Mm. So I, I bought them a journal. Though they mm. journal every day at school, like, yeah. you know, school we tell them, you know, or maybe on Monday, tell us what happened over the weekend. Mm. And I said, okay, if your school wants to do a proco, let the proco <laughs> start from, <laughs> from, exactly. from the home. So I bought both of them. A journal, mm -hmm. and I said every day, oh, "Mommy, I don't feel like I draw. Tell me exactly. how you do through drawing, <laughs> mommy. This is the way my if I draw anything, let it look shabby. I need to know what your day look like, like exactly. what happened at school, and you know they've not been consistent because children are going to be children. I want to have exactly. learned about children. Don't, don't force them. Exactly. It is my idea. It is not the idea." So, exactly. but I allow them. But when it comes to mind, I'm like, so what? What? Bring your journal. And the journal has a key. Mm -hmm. So, so I keep the key when they are done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I'm on Saturday, when I'm alone, I will go and I will read. Exactly. So she will not like to write. Draw, 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 draw. <laughs> draw. Oh, that draw. Can. <laughs> this one, what does it mean? Okay, my friend, this one, uh, he, 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 she said this. Okay, good, great. You know, and it has helped me in a lot it's of fantastic. ways because yeah. when we are dealing with stuff, I mm. get to read it. Mm. You know, because they feel it's a little secret they are keeping. Mm. And that has created some sort of bond between us. Mm -hmm. And I bring it up, you know, I bring it up. Oftentimes when we sit on the dining table, and I think that's mm -hmm. another thing. Parents should learn how to eat with their children once in a while. No yeah, you are. very good. Yeah. Create that time, right? And when I'm preparing them for school, I was telling someone, I said, I hear more secret from my children when I'm making their hair during school time. Okay. When exactly. I'm feeling style to cream. So tell me what happened yesterday. So why were you exactly. happy with your sister? That word you said, where did you hear it? Oh, you know, I love you. And then she go, okay, mommy, mommy, you know, mommy, make their like this. Okay, mommy, what did you have me? And I, I get all exactly. the information that I need. So it's just to exactly. remember what you said. We yeah. are not perfect. Nobody has the manner to this parenting thing. We are all trying our best, but we have to be intentional. Exactly. Because what you fail to address now, it is going to lead people to your address in the future if you don't take time. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, we've seen it Thank happen. You. What you fail to address, you see it on social media every day. Nefarious Thank activities. You. Cultism, this one, exactly. the new one is for exactly. them to go on TikTok now and use their life to make exactly. money. And I tell people, 10 years from now, everything you do is going to come back to you. Simple. Somehow. somehow you think you are exactly. living the life. You know, so God help us. We'll do our best. Exactly. As parents. Like with what you said, you know, with mm -hmm. what you said, you know, when people mm -hmm. say, oh, um parenting yes it doesn't come with a manual so some people mm -hmm. just say you know they want to uh just wing it mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm like wing it 
We ain't go out. We <laughs> all learn. In this life, we mm. learn. I know mm -hmm. the amount of money I've even paid, you know, for courses there and there, for mm -hmm. coaching. When it comes to... Per because you don't know it all. The way mm -hmm. we're investing in our career, you want to mm -hmm. be one superstar professional. Mm -hmm. You are taking courses there, buying books. But mm -hmm. when it comes to your parenting, you want to wing it. And our parents did their best. You know, mm -hmm. our parents leveraged on community. Mm -hmm. They leveraged on, you know, society. Mm -hmm. They leveraged on churches. But, you know, obviously mm -hmm. with everything that is happening now, everybody is trying to isolate themselves. Oh, church did this one. Then society did this one. Community did this one. Now, mm -hmm. and it truly takes a village to raise a child. Yes. So if we, if if you do not have the, you know, physical society you know community mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. village then mm -hmm. find a village oh because mm -hmm. this parenting you cannot do it by yourself you cannot say oh you will be winging it oh mm -hmm. all these parenting people they've come trust mm -hmm. me it's a, it has had impact in my own life so when mm -hmm. some people are saying oh your children are like this, i said it is they did not come from everyone like this yes i I did work, like, and I'm still doing the work. <laughs> and I'm still going to be doing it, right? Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot of work to be intentional. Mm -hmm. But it saved you a whole lot of drama yeah. in the future. Yeah, 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 a lot. And, I'm, and I'm telling you, you know, because when you see these young ones online, and I can't remember what I saw on Twitter the other day. I had to go into a DM. Mm. She posted a picture with a cryptic message. And the picture, she was asking men to rate her. So the first question I asked, I said, how old are you? She said, she's 18. Mm. <laughs> Why do you want this man to validate you online? Is that, does it? And then she told me that she has a private WhatsApp where mm. she actually display for this man on video. Ew. And she gets paid. Ew. And I took it upon myself. Mm. to know more. I mm. did not judge because the moments you judge, you ah, you're out of, you are, you've lost I them. did not judge. I sinked into the conversation. We got talking. I spoke with her mother and I got mm. to realize the mom does not have time. Exactly. This is a child who does not lack anything. Mm. What he's doing is because she's not getting attention at home from the two parents. Exactly. So she's coming on social media every day to seek validation. Rate my picture. Simple. Yeah, Simple. You know, I'll give you my number in the DM. She doesn't even need the money. Exactly. By the time I finish, I said, listen, I'm not a therapist, though, madam. Mm -hmm. You need to seek therapy. You need to mm -hmm. have family therapy. All of mm -hmm. you. Because yeah. We can address it today. She can move and change the name on Twitter now and change it to another name. Exactly. I won't see her again. Exactly. So <laughs> there's no way I can control that. But mm. I'm telling you that this bond, you need to, there is a loophole, you, there is a vacuum. Exactly. And if you don't exactly. feel people are going to come to your address, that is when you hear that uh, they went to a hotel with man. They will say the man tried to rape them, they will kill the man. Well, that would happen. The thing exactly. you take to address would lead them to exactly. lead people to your address in the future. Exactly. So, I mean, this is, this is a conversation that I think that exactly. we we'll, we'll always bring to the front burner because no there's a lot of talent. Everybody yes. is busy. No matter how busy, busy, you don't have to find time. And mm. we know that, yes, children is not, mm -hmm. aside being intentional, God, mm -hmm. but God can only bless what you've, the work you've done. If yes. you have not put in any effort, there's nothing mm -hmm. for God mm -hmm. to bless. Mm -hmm. So when you've done your part, you have to do mm -hmm. yours first, then God can now bless, you know, the, the, your hard work. Absolutely. But to be honest, you just have to be very, intentional we're not saying children will still do their whatever they want to do mm -hmm. but they understand why they're doing what they're doing not because they do not understand you've left mm -hmm. them out they're down mm -hmm. seeking validation here and there mm -hmm. your children they have to you know be able to trust you mm -hmm. come to you when they want to not that they're now lost like we don't have anybody to very go important. to and very everybody important. needs mm -hmm. somebody to go to if your mm -hmm. children are not coming to you for mm -hmm. issues Trust me, there's some, maybe it's their friends, though. There's a problem. There's a big one. Which you have Thank to fix. Thank you so much, C. So <laughs> how can we achieve work-life balance? We've talked yeah. about the parenting, <laughs> the tech. <laughs> Every other thing. Uh, this work-life balance is the big issue for all, a lot of us. How do we achieve it? With, with work-life balance, mm -hmm. what I usually advise is, okay, some people will say work-life balance, 
uh, work life integration, whatever mm -hmm. meaning it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fourth thing is to be honest, you have to involve your children. And mm -hmm. let me tell you what I was doing when my children were very young. Mm -hmm. So even when I'm working, right? Mm -hmm. I tell them, you know, I show them stuff. They might not understand though, when I'm doing it. I just show them, you know, see what mommy is doing here, blah, 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 blah. So when they started to grow up, I think by the time they were about five years old, I started to give them like my Excel sheets or Microsoft or to help me. They will complete, whether they're completing, completing it well or not. So they kind of feel involved in what I'm doing. And obviously I'm working because at that time, by the time I left banking, you know, I was formerly in the banking mm -hmm. industry. When, when I left, I had some form of, you know, more flexibility with my time. So when, um, you know, some of us, we've started to do work from home, even before COVID. <laughs> COVID hit. So when I need, you know, to sort out some things, I would just say, okay, I would involve them. So it's not like I'm leaving them out. So they felt like part of me. So when, you know, you see my children even involved in mommy clinic, editing like our videos, I don't do anything again. You know? My kids are the ones editing my videos, shooting my videos. It's not because I'm forcing them to do it. They've been involved in my own career, my work, since when they, they're young. Yes, there's some things that your children might not be able to do. Maybe your mm -hmm. type of, of mm -hmm. job. Maybe, let's say, the, the, maybe, I don't know, whatever type of job you're doing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can say while you're working, you can just give them something to do. Mm -hmm. And they're beside you. So it's not mm -hmm. like you say, oh, you people just take him, go with your wala, go with your wala. So that helped me, you know, also it took the guilt away that I'm actually really busy, mm -hmm. but, you know, but my children felt like they, they were doing something and it was from a very young age. So mm -hmm. even now as well as, you know, as they're older, it's easier. We're all together. Mm -hmm. Even my, my brother came home to our place one time and he's like, ah, your children, you're always with your mommy because it's odd to him to see like teenagers always wanting mm -hmm. to be... I don't leave my children know they're like they enjoy we just enjoy working together being together so ensure that you integrate it you know involve your children and most importantly as well when you are maybe for some of us that can actually say oh we've left work you are at home give your best at every point you find yourself in so if you are with your children give your best at the time that you are saying this is our time give okay. your best Put your phones aside. Not that mm. you, you'll be messaging and you're just, uh, 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 uh. even if it's thirty minutes, just leave that phone, please, mm. and focus on you know your children. And yes. for the children that are also on guard, you tell them, well, yeah, leave the, that phone and you focus on yourself. And with your work as well, give your best to your work mm. at every point in time. Mm. And you know, leverage on your strength. <laughs> this one says, my strength. I don't joke with it. My weakness, I acknowledge it. Like, I'm not, I, even, I would tell, come, this one, I'm not going to spend my energy because obviously when you, when you want to do stuff when it comes to your weakness and you say, oh, you are the, um, what's that, superstar or whatever it is, you're on top of it, you are a phenomenal mom, you can mm. do this wife, mm. you are on top of your duty, you want to do this one. There's one word we usually use for, the, for those type of moms. But is it perfect? Perfect mom or perfect whatever it is. Perfect everything. You will just kill yourself. You will be overwhelmed. And that's where work-life balance will now come into play. That, oh, I don't have a great work-life balance. Because it's you sending yourself work. So what I've done is that when something is my weakness, I don't even, to be honest, I don't even bother. Like, I don't even want to learn that thing. <laughs> because it's taking too much of my energy. So I would rather put my energy on something that I know I can do pam pam pam. Then whatever that I do not enjoy to do, that I can take as my let me say as my growth area, my great weakness, I will delegate it. So that I can focus on things that work. So let's learn delegation. There's no perfect or um one superstar or the superwoman. <laughs> Is that name? Superwoman. My, my, my friend There's will no... say that nobody will give you a trophy for struggling. But exactly. I'm always saying, you know, sis, I'm always saying, you know, when I see even some, when I see some moms on social media, you know, mm. at times complaining, they would, let's say, for example, with our sleep course, mm. you know that we have sleep course and you are still on my page telling me that you are still struggling with sleep, that you are not sleeping more than three hours. Oh my God. 
I'm like, you like suffering. Ah, see, there are some people that like suffering, no? To be yeah. honest, because if you do not like suffering, you will seek for help. Even if you cannot afford it, you say, please, oh, I cannot afford it. Please, what can you do to help me? Because I need this. Not mm. that you say, oh, this thing, maybe it's expensive or you will be struggling. Mm. And at the end of the day, your quality of life is depreciating. Yes. And, oh God, some people yes. like struggling. Some people like suffering, especially yes. women. We think that if we have not suffered, we have not done well. Mm -hmm. If we have not suffered on these children, hmm, we are not a good mother. <laughs> hey. that, uh, I am the one Nobody doing will give you. Nobody will the... give you any I'm award. You. I mean, Even you... your children will tell mm. you, Mommy, we did not send you to suffer. Yes. You know, my, not, daughter, my daughter did something. Yes, my daughter did something. <laughs> because, uh, you know, uh, there, there's a little bit of tweak when it comes to single mm -hmm. parenting, right? Mm -hmm. You are yeah. not just intentional, you're also cautious, mm -hmm. you know, they themselves. So, mm -hmm. you now just carry the plates, wash. I mean, at that time, they also knew how to wash the plates. Mm -hmm. the of the pandemic, my daughter had to write it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, things that we <laughs> need to please stop watching our plates. <laughs> <laughs> because the moment I get to the sink, I'm like, hey, mommy, let us know I'm doing it. So she now wrote it like, mommy, I'm doing it. Like, like, stop. Exactly. Just stop. You know, so now when I'm, mommy, please, can you please leave my plate? Hold exactly. me accountable. Let me be responsible. Why, why do you want to wash my plate for me? And I will go, okay, okay, I hands off. You know, exactly. but the only problem is that <laughs> in the helping too, you have to monitor because if you go and put Konkoniri inside non aluminium party. <laughs> You will keep reminding them, or you pay something. Don't use this uh, coin, you know, confounding in the spot. You have to put it there. Like, but you know what? Even with my, I've stopped. I've stopped watching plates since maybe when my kids were like seven years old or something. I don't wash. If it's dirty, you wash it again. Um, like I've I've served you people. I've tried when you were crawling that we're crawling together. Now. You people, and to be honest, the earlier we make them understand that, they mm -hmm. take it as their own responsibility as well. Okay. And that's why you see some women, they'll be looking too old, because we, we think we need to do everything. Right. They have to learn. Let them make right. their own mistakes. Yes. Let, so, them, like let, them them let them live. Women, we like so fun. I mm -hmm. think we like, you like, they think that they will say, ah, well done, <laughs> your sofa is much. Please, I, also so. think, I also think it's it's the issue of culture and the yes. cultural, you know, it stems from one generation to the other, right? Yes. We need to then so many narratives that we need to correct right now. We are correcting it. See, even the modern true. mommies like us, they still want to stop her. We are correcting it, but they still want to. I said, how will somebody like pain like this? Mommies, there's solution. Even mm -hmm. some, there are some that they are even free. Go to Google, mm -hmm. so that you are not you are not. And they are, to be honest, they are genuinely in pain. You know, mm -hmm. they're on. How can you say you've not slept three hours? You know, mm -hmm. and there are so many moms like that that they've not slept like three hours mm -hmm. for like the first three years of their children's life. Mm -hmm. You can't be normal, mm -hmm. and that's why many many women are sad. They're overwhelmed, they're mm -hmm. depressed, like mm -hmm. it's too, too much problem. And you know, when you are not sleeping well, it mm -hmm. affects you as well. Yes. And I, I, I also, you know, want to quickly add that our men, for the men who are here, you know, we are holding ourselves accountable as mothers. Mm -hmm. Please be useful. But see, even the women, do we open our mouths? Let me give you an example, sis. Let me give you an okay. example. I remember okay. when, my, with my children, when they were toddlers, mm -hmm. you know, I, in the morning, you know, I had, because my children are w like one year apart, maybe mm -hmm. one was three, one was two. Mm -hmm. And my husband and I were both going to the office. Mm -hmm. And every morning, I would carry myself and say, oh, I will have bath, I will do this, I will do that. One day, I just realized, I said, ah, it's this man now. now. I just said, but no, be like fights. So, because many times we, we to do it like fights. I said, ah, babe, oh, ah, please, I need your support so that maybe, you know, with this school run, maybe you'll be doing the school run. Imagine I will do school run, I will have bath, I will cook. Ah, ah. And I was thinking, 
we are both going to the office now. You two, you are going to the office. Me too, I'm going to the office. Mm. I know that people, please. So I think it would be better. Maybe you would start to, you know, drop off these children. Or if you can maybe be taking their bath for them, then maybe me, I would drop them or something. You just say, ah, no problem. I will do it. Hey, I say, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and you have been looking at me three years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time we always assume, and you know, mm -hmm. I I read it, I studied about how men think some mm -hmm. years ago as well, mm -hmm. and I was able to understand that to be honest, is not this man's fault. Especially mm -hmm. if it's another thing, if the dad is not you know there, mm -hmm. but if you have husband, both of you mm -hmm. are in the house, mm -hmm. and you are now keeping your mouth shut, the man will just be looking at you. Because mm. they always think that we got it in control. That is how their brain works because they can't mm. multitask as well. Mm -hmm. To be honest, you know, when you study the male child, the, the brain, everything is different. Mm. So when we understand how this men think, it would help us because many times it's not, some of them, it's not like they, you will know some men are, they have their issues. Mm -hmm. But some of them, because you've not asked for help, they will not help you. <laughs> They will say, did you tell me? And you, you be thinking, are you blind? You see, I'm sweating and struggling. <laughs> Even well done, they will not say to you. Because they can't see it. It's what they are, they are thinking about, something else. So you, we women, we have to open our mouth. We have to be expressive and say, please, you need to help me. You mm -hmm. need to, please, can you do this for me? Can mm -hmm. you do this all? If he's sharing, whatever, however you want to do it. But the thing now is where we now have an, an, another issue is that when we've now said, oh, can you do this? You, you will now want to tell them when to do it. That's when their own brain too, with Tasha. <laughs> so you have to leave them to do it. It might not be, a, you know, because we women, we want, and that's what is affecting us with our children. We want yeah. it to be done now, now, now. If you want them to do it, leave them now. Let them yeah. do it. However, you yeah. go and rest. Put your feet up. So far, mm -hmm. said they will do it. The mm -hmm. worst you can do is maybe you just remind him after give him time. Ah, babe, you've not done that. But it's not fight that, please. If not, it's you that you will continue to do your problem yeah. yourself. So we should also learn to ask for help. We should be expressive and we should talk. Not that you'll be saying, and he's seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> not the only person is full. I am the one cooking. You come and carry exactly. it. Am I the only one? He's not seeing you. He's not seeing. Ah, yeah, this woman, she likes work. Oh. This is my helper, my destiny helper. <laughs> but I, I so, also want to say that, you know, you said something about your son now. And I, mm -hmm. you know, want to just take it down to the parenting, the core that mm -hmm. parents should raise their sons to be useful. Let it start because what they don't know, they cannot perform. Let us also be honest. These men, these boys become people's husband in the future. You don't let them do ah. anything. The, the sister is the one washing the plates for the, for the brother. The sister mm -hmm. is the one cooking, packing the plates. When there's family party, the boy will just sit down on a pier, oh, yeah. playstation, playing, playing. When he gets he married, exactly. he doesn't think what the woman is doing are suffering because he's and used to that. Thank <laughs> you. He's used to it. So when you do it Thank and it's not even coming for us ah. to say, um, babe, can I why don't you relax? Let me do it today. He, he was not even thought that ah. way. You know, please he was not so, in that line. So, so, please help us raise these boys. Eh? We are begging you. We Karen. are begging you. We At least so I'm begging boys. for the girls as well, because me, hey, if your daughter is coming to marry my son, because my son <laughs> is a great chef. Mm -hmm. It's caring. I've raised. Um, um, my eyes will be sharp like this with any woman coming up because I've done the, uh, with my girls, both my girl and my boy. Mm. I've been intentional. Mm. And God, oh, please, nobody will now come and ah. So please, it is both sides. But to be honest, mm -hmm. we have to we have to raise our sons right. Yes. Because yes. at the end of the day. They would think is it's okay. Do you know mm -hmm. that we'll, we'll be have, let's say you know everybody we're having like a a, a family gathering parties mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. You see the women struggling and suffering in the kitchen, Sad. and you see men will be sitting down and chatting. They cannot even say, "Please, oh, can I help you fry this plantain?" <laughs> like I can't understand that what what went wrong. There was one day I was actually mm -hmm. seeing that picture, you know, seeing my husband, my brothers, and I'm thinking. 
where did this and it's because that's how they saw their their fathers as well mm. Mm. i said no please our generation should do better please yes, it's too much we need and, to we'll we be cooking and some people will be gisting is it me that don't know how to gist <laughs> That's where, yeah, like Yoruba people say, the corner will come, and the corner we women will. Can't you see that I am, I am tired? <laughs> just they will not even say well done. <laughs> they will not you know, say that, well done. That's why we need to, you know, we need to implore parents to to train these boys, you know, because when they are not training boy child, help us, help us, because that is what causes bad boys in marriage exactly. too. By the time exactly. they don't complain now, but I'm calm, slap. Is this me you are talking to like that? Am I your slave? No, bro. We are in the marriage, man. <laughs> it's a partner. Exactly. Ain't nobody your slave exactly. here. When you exactly. eat your food, try and do your dishes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's, it's okay. There's no gender specific thing. Exactly. Here. Yes, we I'm know. Saying. To be honest, we know that, you know, when it comes to, let's say, male and female, okay. we are different. But mm -hmm. we are not different in how you can take care of yourself. Yes. How you can cook, how yes. you can clean. There's no difference in that one. Yes. Everybody can do that. But if you do not teach, if the child is, you know, the boy is growing up that, mm -hmm. you know, it's the mom and the sister, mm -hmm. and you'll mm -hmm. see some people saying, hey, I said, please stop that. Mm -hmm. Let this expose this both sexes to what you're meant to expose them to. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when they grow old, but they will not be telling you that they cannot cook. They will mm -hmm. not be telling you that they cannot do laundry. They will mm -hmm. not be telling you that this is this because, mm -hmm. no. Expose them because they can learn it. Yes, yes we cannot change the, their brain, how they think. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you can, everybody learns one thing or the other. So teach uh, them. Absolutely. <laughs> so let me move to the next question, sis. Because uh, we, are, we are getting into the gist. And I know people here, a lot of people are vibing with <laughs> I'm sure they have a lot of questions to ask. So as a, yeah, as a child know. sleep consultant, right, mm -hmm. what are the, you know, possible ways of ensuring that our children have good sleep without hassle? Because a lot of parents, you know, mm -hmm. struggle with that. And I also know you yeah. have a course for that. So you might want to yeah. talk very briefly and then tell people how to get your course for that. Okay, I would just, uh, if you, what I would just say is that if, you know, if you have to breastfeed your child to sleep, mm -hmm. if you have to back, you, you're putting your back to your child to back to sleep you have to rock all those things or you're having sleepless nights what i know is that you don't have to there's a solution and mm -hmm. we have the solution right mm -hmm. so you can send us a message but the most important thing when it comes to sleep is that you must have a routine mm -hmm. children thrive on routines if you are mm -hmm. if you do not have a routine mm -hmm. yes we're not saying your routine will be black and white like you okay. will follow it bam, 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 all the time but when they are prepared and routine prepares children they know mm -hmm. oh this is what i need to do and mm -hmm. that's why you see some much some children are more cooperative it's not that they want to listen but it's because they know what they are going to do next mm. that's why they'll just oh oh it's rice that we are eating today not that they'll be telling you ah, mommy i don't want to eat rice but they've known that they will eat that rice since last week. That is if you have like timetables. So when okay. we're saying routine, so if it's with sleep, if you know you've communicated with your children or okay. you have babies, whatever it is, ensure that there's a bedtime and stick to it. Mm. Not that today, eight o'clock, tomorrow, nine, tomorrow, 10. And your children, they, they need to be, if you have children below 10 years old, they need to be in bed by 8.30. So just look at the demographic of your children and just say below 10 years, 8.30. Between maybe 10 and maybe 16, you cannot okay. start to do 9, 9, 30. But okay. there's no child that should be awake till 10 o'clock for whatever reason. They need that sleep. That's why some children are tired. That's why some children are not listening because their brain is not rested. Mm -hmm. You have to put yourself in that shoes. When you're not rested, you'll mm -hmm. just be cranky. You'll be taking it out on people. That's yes. why some children, even the younger ones, the toddlers, you'll be saying, sit down, come here. They're not listening because their brain, they've not slept well. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So you want to understand the benefits of sleep to your children as well. So mm -hmm. that routine, mm -hmm. if you don't do anything, have a routine. Yes, I'm not of the school of thought that you should force a child to sleep if they're having nightmares. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is your own if if you're there, I will beat you if you don't go to sleep now. <laughs> and your children are see you like one demon in the I get I get parenting. 
you know, I so, it's, it's it's easy. One of the most challenging period for me was yeah. I think, the pandemic. Mm. You know, combining homeschooling, work, being intentional, doing homework. I mean, there are mm. things that I have forgotten. Mommy, exactly. I don't know how no. You go, 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 go. Exactly. Google, I will bring the answer because as I did like this, I get my <laughs> But the thing exactly. is, when they want the attention, I mm. make sure that I create a balance, leave whatever mm. I'm doing to help mm. them out. How did it affect mm. me? It affected my own sleep because mm. there are things that I should do that I have to yeah. do to the end of the day. You wow. know, you have to write a report, you have to. So I said mm -hmm. to myself, listen, it's either you want to keep complaining. Or yeah, stick to the solution and yeah. just because the pandemic at that time we didn't even know when it was going to end exactly every people just had you know their routines went out of the even the yeah. few people that had routines mm -hmm. but to be honest we stick we we stuck to our routine you know, because i know what routine i i want sanity you know i think me i like that, peaceful that life and, and that's you people need to shout, like scream to raise your children. That is one thing I've learned. You see, these children, if you have that <laughs> bond with them, even in the most, there's a way you can even use high to talk to your children. You know, they are, they are saying something that is burning you, you're outside. Mm -hmm. You know, back there, but with eyes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so back by one <laughs> But no, exactly. they don't think much. But they already know mm -hmm. the body language, like, okay, okay. <laughs> I know what she's yeah, saying. Exactly. You know, and, and all that. But the shout screaming, I said to myself, I cannot die young. I don't want to be beside my children now in 10 years. They'll say, Is that your grandma? No, no, exactly. no, no, no. People no, no, get no. to be, they'll just be shouting at each other. They'll be shouting the whole house. What they are used to. What they are exactly. used to when when they when they see you you know screaming the house down. I was telling one of my exactly. friends, better go and take crew from uh, uh, Nollywood because this one I somebody they call you on the phone every time. <laughs> oh my God, you just have BP. These children they will leave you and I'm going when they grow up. They will sit there. That mommy, did I send you work to be shouting on me all the time? Them, so, so. You know, so mm. God God help us. You know, and um. So lastly, sis, before we go and end the session, as a certified potty trainer, because I know there are a lot of mummies with toddlers here, she has yes, some um, just few important potty training nuggets with us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So obviously the first thing when it comes to potty training mm -hmm. is your child is not your friend's child. <laughs> Mm. Is it some, some some moms they say, hey, you know when they are just ah, my daughter is pretty trained now. Then you see, you just wake up one morning and put the child on potty bagam and say, oh, we're potty training it today. No, it doesn't work that way. That's why it's called potty training. You train. Yes, we know some children will come around though, but the this special age children, you will do some training and when you say you're training someone obviously you know i tell moms you know these children they've been peeing on themselves for months you now want them to just you want to put them somewhere and tell them to stop what they're doing so you have to be really patient so the first one is acknowledge that your child is different from every child start from training so you can start first or oh, maybe start to take the child, you know, maybe from, let's say, like 17, 16 months, you wash <laughs> your hands, you know, you go to the toilet, you do that. So start to educate around and prepare the child for potty. So you okay. can buy your potty and say, oh, this potty will soon start to use it. You start to okay. sit like this, like that. You start from there. Then also what we do not think about is the size of the potty seat. So you think that some children do not want to sit on it. But they are afraid that they will fall inside that thing. <laughs> because their bum bum is too small for some seats. So always have that in mind when you're buying the, your potty as well. And think about it, you know. What's the size of my, my child's bum bum? And look for the appropriate, you know, size for that, mm -hmm. that would be comfortable, you mm -hmm. know, for your, for your child. Mm -hmm. And the next one is obviously... Whatever you're doing, be consistent. Mm -hmm. So don't mm -hmm. do something today and do something else tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Be consistent with whatever approach that you have chosen to go by and ensure that at least you're consistent for some children in a few days, mm -hmm. they're potty trained. Some, it might take a week, but obviously if you're very consistent, in three weeks mm -hmm. you should see 
a okay. massive uh, maximum three weeks you should see a massive progress and um consistency and you have to be patient oh my god because hey potty training you can want to lose your mind you know <laughs> especially when they are peeing around the old place but when you are consistent it tends to reduce that and even when they make you know th that those th they have those accidents mm -hmm. you want to be patient and understand them that it's it's a skill that they're trying to master. Mm -hmm. So, they, you know, they, they didn't bring it from heaven. <laughs> you are the teacher. So if you are not getting it well, you are teaching the wrong way. Or maybe you have to learn a, another skill, another mm -hmm. way of getting through to the children. So be consistent, be patient, and understand that they are learning a new skill. I think mm -hmm. when we are aware of that, I think many of our moms are not quite patient to understand that. Okay, I need to take a chill pill and not be shouting. And please, stop nagging and shouting these children. Hey, are you a baby? See, yes, they are babies. <laughs> you are putting on the floor. See my rug. See my this. They don't, they don't care. Like, they don't understand. So you have to understand. And, you know, it's now counterproductive when you start to shout. Some of them, you know, some moms will even be, you'll be spanking a child because the child poo poo or whatever mm -hmm. some people will say it works for them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but many times i work with what you know i work with data what you know when you've done things over a period of time mm -hmm. what would you say is working yes some children they now from from a very young age they are now used to fear so that's why many of us are still struggling with so many things you're seeing you know psychologists therapists there and there because of one fear that somebody has put in your mind and it might be put and the child will just always you know want to do things to satisfy you parents or whoever it is when they've instilled fear in them but you see some children they're not fearful because you know you just have to so yes your child you might spank the child and the child might not be on the floor again mm -hmm. but that did not say that that was the right approach because mm -hmm that can result in something else so it's mm -hmm. better you you know you understand come from a place of understanding with your child mm -hmm. and you know teach your child help your child in mastering you know those skills that many times when you're you're consistent and patient mm -hmm. and you've educated many times you do do achieve some progress at the end of the day amazing and i know that you have you know quite a number of courses <clears throat> Um, yes. you know, um, can you just you know let people know mm, you know what what i just mm. usually say because we have so many courses mm -hmm. what i just usually say is that anything that is bothering you like is giving you sleepless nights you just sit down like you say ah this mommy life is you know balance this thing is giving me a dick why is this child not potty trained why is child not sleeping ah sex education all this thing we are hearing what we like what we are for and you're thinking oh oh my god this child is not listening what type of child is this one they are just calling me from school when you have all those headaches just send us a dm what we just want is even if we do not have a course we have sessions one-on-ones to undo your mommy headaches what i just want is i just want every mom to be happy in the sense that yes life is challenging but you can okay. genuinely be happy with your life mm -hmm. you might not be happy with some things that are going on around you mm -hmm. but you're genuinely happy with where you are right mm -hmm. and say i'm doing my best as a mom i'm okay. doing my best for myself mm -hmm. that is what i just want moms to you know that no my child is not my problem mm -hmm. i want your child to be you know like i tell people my ch my children are not my my issue so if I'm having issue, it's me. So I know where to address. I know what to do. So that is where you want to get to that. I'm my own problem. Nobody mm -hmm. is my problem. Mm -hmm. So any headache like this you are getting, just come. Yes, you will pay. Oh, do let me put it out there. Oh, you'll pay. But you when you pay, <laughs> those you people that are the when you pay, you get value. Like I become like your best friend. <laughs> Like I take your matter on my head and I ensure that, you know, whatever the problem that you're having, it is solved at the end of the day. So that's what I just want. So if you're having a headache, I will not say, oh, buy this cause Just come and tell us your headache. Then we'll tell you the medicine we okay. have for it <laughs> at the end of the day. Thank yeah. you. Just before we go and just to acknowledge that, um, you know, there are parents, especially mothers, who perhaps are troubled right now they're not mm. happy um, mm. because we're experienced. I just want you to say some kind words to them. Some of them might be here. Mm. They might watch later mm. on my page. 
just yeah. who wants to you know to encourage them before we mm. go mm. to be honest um i would not lie to you that being a mom is not tough it is tough and everybody's reality is different mm. some people they are married but it's better for them not to even be married <laughs> some people they are married they are happy some people we are single moms mm. don't blame yourself for whatever it is we have we might not be able to control what we've passed through what mm -hmm. we've been through because mm -hmm. it's not within your control mm -hmm. but where we are moving your future mm. is your control mm. I, i've been in a very low place before when my children were very young mm. and yes it's not nobody's fault i just thought that what kind of why is why would they why would i be like why would i be losing it for my children or my husband or whatever it is i just realized that it's me i'm in control of it and I started to, you know, read, do stuff. Even at times, you just want to listen to music. You see me, I dance a lot. Like, it's my therapy. Mm -hmm. I'm always dancing. Not because life is not challenging. You don't want to know. Even last year was like the most difficult year of my life. But you will not know. Because I just take responsibility for whatever I'm going through. The best I can do is pray about it. Whatever you can do, do it. There's some things that are not within your control mm -hmm. and there's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. Maybe pray, but trust me, there's some things that when I pray once, it's not answered. I don't pray it again because not that I'm upset with God. I'm like, okay, maybe you chose not to, to give this to me. So rather than be praying and going all over the place, I don't, I, I don't do it. Because I believe that if you want to answer God, I don't need to beg you. Because you know what I'm going through. So I just leave it and just say, God, if you don't want to answer me, no problem. Maybe it's not good for me. I move. So what I'm just saying is that what is not within your control, I don't think is something we, sh we, can't, we should worry about. Yes, worry would come, but you just have to tell yourself, ask yourself, if it's something you can do something about it, do it. Mm. If you cannot do something about it, then you know, just say, God, I hand it over to you and continue, move. But like we always say, the problem never finishes. If you overcome one now, another one will surface. Mm. <laughs> so, and that's why I'm so positive to, mm -hmm. you know, to life. Because I know that when one problem is solved, another one will come. Yes. And I think that's how God has, has put things to, to make us grow, to make us continue to learn, to make us have impact on others. And, you know, whatever we're going through as well, we'll be able to help another person so please yeah. the challenges there would always be challenges to be mm -hmm. honest mm -hmm. so we just have to just tell ourselves if i can do something about it i'll do it do something mm -hmm. if i cannot do something about it i leave it to god and move find ways we all have ways that we can some of us would need to talk to someone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it would help mm -hmm. some of us maybe you listen to to i read books i listen to music i dance mm -hmm. i you know i listen to all this motivational something if mm -hmm. in as much as some people don't believe in it me i believe in it because i know it has changed my life you know all this motivational talk has changed my life i would not lie so mm -hmm. i listen to it just to take myself from that low place to that next place and you'll be mm -hmm. amazed that at times when you listen to stuff you just get some inspiration of how you can pass through whatever you're passing mm -hmm. or maybe god will just you know drop something in your mind and say oh you need to talk to this person oh this is what you need to do so just be just open your mind up but just know that whatever what what you do not have control of you do not have control about it yeah. and it comes even you know even with your children because some of us are you know struggling with our children it's not mm -hmm. everybody's child that is making them happy yeah. right yeah and when your children are in that place mm. the mom is in a dark place mm -hmm. so if you can get help when you even see something going off with your child oh. as early as possible please seek help especially in this age that we are in children are lose your people are losing their children so quick and you would not know if you are not alert mm. and that's why you have to be very alert 
mm. as a parent because your child will pick something and if you're not alert, you miss it yeah. and it's going like that. The tan That's tangent funny. is going that way. So just be alert, even okay. yes, but you have responsibility for these children. But most okay. importantly, you have responsibility for yourself. If anything happens to you, it's going to happen to your children. If your children lose you, they mm -hmm. become motherless, you know. So you have to take responsibility and say, I need to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. I need to love myself. I mm -hmm. need to invest in myself. And your children are seeing it. But if you're not doing that to yourself, you're teaching your children not to do that. And that's, you know, it's a cycle. And your children will start to look for people that they can depend on, they can mm -hmm. reach out, they can love. I t see, it's, I love myself, die. And it was, it, it changed. You know, that, that when my, my first child was three years old, it just, I was like, why am I feeling this way? Mm. It's not like I'm giving everything to my children, my husband, like, and you are giving everything and I'm not there. Mm. I said, no. But hey, I love myself. Even my children, everybody, know, even my husband know that I love myself, that if you don't love me, so I don't care. <laughs> but I love and you have to get to that place because when you get to that place every other person around you your children your mm -hmm. husband will start mm -hmm. to see that and they start to see that their own is Jara and they are now more endeared to you mm. and this would, would not your children would not accept less because they can see that in you as well so Absolutely. please love yourself Whatever you can do, whatever little, little thing that you can do for yourself, just give yourself the best. We don't need money mm -hmm. to love ourselves. It's just peace mm -hmm. of mind. Mm -hmm. that problem never finish. You know they finish. finish. You know they but finish. Just embrace, just embrace your life mm. and do what you can do and leave the rest to God. Thank you so much. And let me add that mm. it is very important to live intentionally. Exactly. You know, leave. Top number one. Everything, get up. Self love is very important. Say beautiful words to yourself. That's one of the things that has helped me. Like you said, motivational exactly. words. People exactly. don't believe in it. It has worked for me. It's when you worked. do something consistently, every day you get up and you say, I'm living a life of abundance. I'm living a life of ease. You will start seeing the manifestation. See now, see, see. Dream big, follow your heart, be happy, yes. be thankful, stay is fine. Yes. You will start seeing the manifestation. You have to do it for yourself. Exactly. See, I'm even looking that. at my, my feet, my, master, my masters. I'm seeing it every day so that That's my children awesome. too. You they know, when know. I did, you know, when I, I graduated from my masters mm -hmm. and my children, I had to take permission for them to be out of school that day. Mm. Because I know what I'm doing. Like, you know, you said you have to be intentional. Mm -hmm. I want my children to see that this can be achieved, that they can achieve more. Yeah. You know, when I walk down that stage, when after when we finished, my children said, Mom, we're so looking forward to going to university. Mm. You can, I knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. you take them with me. That day, you will not go to school. You come and see me. That meal, in my 40s, I walked up this thing. I did this thing. Mm -hmm. You, you are still young. You, would, you can achieve more. Because, you know, many times, like I said, you have to be intentional. Yes. I, you know, you, yeah, you will pay for everything. You pay for everything. I said they will witness it. And their lives have changed since then that we need to go to the university they want to go to. And it's not quite quite university. They've given them a ta themselves a target that this is the type of university. They're not going to my university. Even when one, one wanted to say, ah, mom, maybe we should change our mind. This your school is so, so, so nice. I said, ah, you don't want to see your school that you want to go to. Don't worry, we'll take it. And that is my next target. I'm taking them to their university of choice. So that they mm -hmm. will see that my own university, yes, so is there. It's not as there as your own. And mm -hmm. that's how you can visualize, you know, success with your mm -hmm. children. What you can mm -hmm. take them, where you can take them. Take mm -hmm. them to see. It's not by mm -hmm. mouth or looking at, you know. Mm -hmm. But that is intentionality, yeah. right? Yes. But if you do not do it, nobody is going to show them. Mm -hmm. We're the ones yeah. that can show them, to be honest. Absolutely. Yeah. Let me just quickly address something while you were talking a few minutes ago. His sister said she's married, but she's not happy. Um, if mm. you're watching this, if you're still online right now, you know, you can reach out to me or, you know, Timmy Um It seems like, because she's tied to like a couple of times, it seems like mm. there's something heavy that she yeah, needs she to reach out. So mm. please reach out to any of us. Um, we're not mm. therapists. If it's something beyond yes, us, so. we definitely 
refer you to a yeah. professional, but if it's just mm -hmm. for you to speak to someone, mm -hmm. if you want to be heard, you know, we're here for you because I could mm -hmm. see that you typed it in a way to call mm -hmm. my attention to it. So I mm -hmm. see you. That's all I'm telling you. I see you. Mm -hmm. And I acknowledge mm -hmm. the message. And I am sorry mm -hmm. for whatever you're dealing with in your marriage. Mm -hmm. And I wish that you find peace. And I hope mm -hmm. that, you know, God will take whatever the problem is, as long mm -hmm. as it's not violence. Please. Mm -hmm. If there's not violence, you know, of course, therapy can solve that. But if it mm. is violence, I am begging you, do not gamble with your life. You know, do not gamble with your life. So, sis, mm. thank you so much. I appreciate thank your time you today. So it's been amazing. <laughs> this, I mean, a lot of people have been saying powerful session. And for thank those you. who missed this, and I can see a lot of people are just joining us, it's going to be on my page. So you can mm. watch it again. If you have questions, reach out to her. She's available. But mm -hmm. it is not free. Okay, let us learn how to be spending money for the things that we need. It is very, very oh, important. Yeah. You know, money mm -hmm. is everything now. Money, you know, <laughs> help us, let us help you. Small, small like that. Everybody will have the balance that we want in the world. <laughs> Thank you very you much, talk. everyone. Thank God you, everyone. You. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having me. <laughs> my pleasure absolute pleasure and for she has a book as well let me just tell you you know if you have problems um mm -hmm. from what she said you know wi-fi keys and analog parents amazing book try and get one mm -hmm. it is not so much when you invest in yourself mm -hmm. and invest in the things that will make your life easy mm -hmm. Believe me, life of ease is not just by mouth you got to be intentional you want to pay for Definitely. something pay for it buy absolutely sleep, absorb <laughs> digest help yourself mm. keep your mm. mental health stable that way you you are looking good you're not moving out with your children they are thinking you're one and see 80 years old because <laughs> everything you're crying they are sad all right so i love you exactly. everyone thank you so much see you thank have you everyone <laughs> bye, you your family. You bye i will bye <laughs>